Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics, and I'm here to show you how we can take our Outlook-inspired app even further by adding advanced data access, styling, and Microsoft Excel integration. Let's get started. This is the application that we began in the last video. Now we're going to take that application forward and add three things. We're going to change the style of the grid, enhance the functionality to enable it to be updatable and give it more feature functionality, and finally, we're going to empower the end user with the ability to export the data out of the grid into Microsoft Excel. Let's do it. First, we'll tackle the grid page. Let's stop the project so we can add a style. Begin by clicking the grid and navigating down to Style Set Name. You can choose a style directly from this menu by clicking Import. These are all the different styles you can import into your project. There are lots of interesting ones to choose from. I've already picked one that I've imported. As I select it with Office 2007 Black, you'll see the look and feel of the grid will change slightly. For example, you can see that the color of the grid has changed so that we now have this nice pattern of alternating colors between the rows. Okay, so we've got a different look and feel. Now we want to add more functionality to the grid. What you'll do next is click on the grid, which brings up the behaviors of the data grid tasks. Here, you can change what feature functionality you want to add. You can decide whether you want to lock certain columns, enable them to be moved, or enable in-place cell editing and adding and deleting of data. If you have a huge amount of data that you don't want to bring down into the grid in its entirety, you can even provide virtual scrolling. This functionality will just bring down the parts that are needed for the section of the grid that is currently being displayed. You can also enable things like filtering to help customers find a very specific piece of information. You can provide things like row selectors and sorting. If you click OK, now when you rerun this application, all of that feature functionality is available. Now we'll expand out and click on Modify Customers. Here you can see the filter. You can select a specific filter so you can look for 106 and just bring back anything that is 106. Alternatively, you can choose a customer that contains ALF. Even further, you can even filter for begins with ALF, which will give you these results. Now you have all this great filtering functionality. If you want to sort by country, for example, you just have to double click on the header in that column. If you click again, it'll reverse sort all that functionality is available, built right into the grid. Additionally, you can select an individual row and in place edit what's happening in the data. All of that is available to you with just a few selections. The last thing I want to do is show you how to add the ability to export to Excel. It's really easy. You start by bringing down a button and dragging it right into place. You can drop it wherever is convenient for your application. In this case, we'll drop it right there and give it the text of export to Excel. Next, you'll want to add the Web Excel exporter control and drop it right here. You then have the capability of naming it manually or of course, programmatically prompt for one. For the sake of the demo, we'll just call this My Excel File. You have the capability of exporting the data in the grid only and downloading it, which is what you can see here. Now what you'll need to do is write a little bit of code, just one line, in order to tell the exporter to export the data grid. That's it. Now, when you run the application, select a customer and export it to Excel. The program exports the correct information automatically, as you saw down here. 
If you click on that file, all of the data in the grid has been populated. Plus, of course, the styling is consistent inside of Microsoft Excel. It's really amazing the things you can build with ASP.NET and Infragistics. And that's what's in development. See you next time.